This video is to help you check in online for your EasyJet flight booked through New Market Holidays. On your PC, go to easyjet.com in your browser. Once the page has loaded, simply click on Manage Bookings and then Find Booking. Please avoid the sign in button and instead click on the find booking button. Add in your surname and your EasyJet booking reference, which can be found on your New Market Holidays departure documents. It may have also been text messaged to you. Click on the box that says confirm you have permission to manage this booking and find booking. This will now load your booking for your flight. By scrolling down, you can check your flight details here, your flight departure airport and arrival airport, your flight time and arrival time. To, pro to progress to check in, click on the check in button. Once you reach this point, you may be requested to add passenger information, such as passport details. Please go and do that now. You'll need to make sure that you add this passenger information for both sets of passengers. Now you've added your passport information into the EasyJet website, you can continue to check in. This next page allows you, should you wish, to pre-book your seats. You can do this and pay EasyJet directly for pre-booking seats. Where you see a white seat blank, that seat is available for you to pre-book and it states the price of those seats further up. If you do not wish to pre-book your seats and are happy for EasyJet to select your seats on your behalf, you can click on I don't mind. You now have the same options for your return flight. Included in your ticket price is the is 23 kilograms of luggage allowance, which can go into the aircraft hold. Should you wish to take any luggage into the aircraft cabin, this must be a small bag which sit, fits underneath the seat in front of you. Based on the ticket we've purchased for you, you would not be able to add anything into the overhead lockers. On this page, however, you have the ability to add extra cabin bags. And should you wish to do so, you can do that on this page and pay EasyJet directly. If you don't wish to do so, click skip. And confirm that, that, that action by clicking on no thanks, I'll take a small cabin bag. This page here asks you if you'd like to take any additional hold luggage or sports equipment. Should you wish, you can add that onto your booking here and pay EasyJet directly. If you don't need to do that, click on continue. This page here allows you to pre-purchase a voucher to spend on board. Again, should you wish, you can add that here. You're now moving into the final stages of the check-in process. These items are forbidden to be taken on board. Please make sure that you read this information carefully and click on yes, continue. 
We would recommend that you check in for all flights. So that's your outbound flight and your return flight. You can do that by clicking yes, all flights. This now confirms that you have checked in to this section here. You've now got the ability to print your boarding pass from home should you wish to do so. And again, you can click yes, all boarding passes. That will take you to your own page to be able to print your boarding passes from home should you wish to do so. The alternative option for you would be to go to the EasyJet app on your mobile device, add in the EasyJet booking reference and your Boarding pass will also be available there. Our team are available to assist you should you require any further support or information. We're not able to complete the check-in process for you due to data protection regulations. However, we're able to give a helping hand should it be required. We hope you found this video useful and helpful. And on behalf of everyone at Newmarket Holidays, we wish you a very happy holiday.